Malaai, the culinary garden at Waimea Middle School, is a one-acre outdoor living classroom. An important part of our work is observing and learning from nature, and then applying what we learn in all that we do. There are many interesting jobs on Hawaii Island in science, technology, engineering, and math that also require learning from nature and the aina. To find out more about these STEM careers, we went into the field to meet a variety of professionals to learn about the cool and important jobs they do. Kekoa Alip is a telescope support supervisor at the W.M. Keck Observatory on Mauna Kea. He grew up in Kona and went to Holualoa Elementary, Kealakehe Middle, and Konawaina High School. After graduating, Kekoa wanted to travel, so he followed his father's advice and joined the Navy, where he earned an associate's degree in aeronautics and was deployed all over the world. But when he got married and started a family, there was only one place he wanted to be. I came back home to the big island because there's no place like home, you know. Out of all of the places I've been to, 58 countries all over the world, um, almost every continent except for Antarctica, but I had to come back home. Home was calling me, so I came back home. After a few more years of working for the Navy in Hawaii, Kekoa retired and became a stay-at-home dad. He eventually applied for a job at Keck, and with his background in aeronautics, his work experience and great attitude, he got the job. So when I was a child, I remember back in the early 80s, um, looking up at Mauna Kea, and you could see the telescopes, and I thought to myself, oh, what are they doing up there, you know, I, I wonder what it looks like, you know, uh, whatever they're pointing at, what stars are they looking at, you know, and it's always piqued my interest. Uh, I'm really pro-science, I love science, my children are in STEM as well in Kealakehe, and I want to see the human race move forward, you know, this is something that we all need to be interested in, I feel. So I took the position because I wanted to do something with my life as well. And I could see the way that Keck treated me when I first came in. The way I've been treated by Keck is like an ohana. They want to do things for the community. They, um, they really have good intentions. Kekoa's job is to prepare the telescope and its instruments for the evening's observing. If an astronomer is searching for exoplanets around other stars, they use an instrument with very high precision. If they're looking at a planet in our solar system, they might use a wider angle spectroscope that breaks up light into its individual colors and wavelengths, giving astronomers a way to see what gases are present in the planet's atmosphere. And there's different instruments for that. So we have a infrared instrument, we have uh, optical instruments. Working on top of Mauna Kea can be tough, especially in the winter when it snows, but even in the summer when it's relatively warm. At the summit, it's challenging in breathing, it's challenging and you have some confusion sometimes and realize that you need to get on oxygen. So there's all different types of challenges that you face working at the summit. So I was starting Kona, I'll get to Halepohaku around 8 o'clock. We'll, we'll stay there for 30 minutes to acclimate. We'll head up to the summit. My task will be to service the instruments. Despite the challenges of working at high altitude, his workplace above the clouds has one very special bonus. Kakoa says the views from the summit are spectacular. Mauna Kea is so unique and that we're so close to the equator. We can see so much of the universe, you know, and Mauna Kea is high enough that it's above the weather clouds. Being above 
the cloud layer gives us an open view. So if you're down here in Waimea, it can be pouring rain or it can be really cloudy. But when I'm up at Mauna Kea, I just see a sea of clouds. A key player in my interest of this field in science and astronomy would be Ellison Onizuka. I grew up in Huluoloa where Ellison Onizuka's parents owned a store. It was called Onizuka store. And I would ride my bike from my house to Onizuka store and the parents were so proud of him being an astronaut. And I wanted my parents to be proud of me as well. So uh, this field right here, you know, uh, really, I think my parents are proud of me working here at Keck. Kikoa is an accomplished musician. Some days he brings his ukulele to work and plays during his breaks. Kekoa wants students to know that there are lots of jobs with Keck and other observatories that they might be qualified for. This is not a job that is just for mainland people. There's opportunities here on the Big Island that are available to you. And I didn't know myself that this was a place that I could be working at. I used to go up to Mauna Kea before I worked at Keck, just to release some heva that I have, you know, or to even be closer to God sometimes, to go up there and just enjoy how beautiful Hawaii is. To explore more job options, visit the Hawaii Career Explorer, a great place to see future high demand STEM occupations. Just search Hawaii Career Explorer online or visit our website, malaai.org.